I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. <laughs> Last time on Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Commander Cory Shepard headed to the planet of Pharos to find what was happening at the colony of Zeus Hope and discovered a giant Geth attack. And while helping the colony of Zeus Hope, discovered that the colonists were acting very strange. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another video. Uh, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you know when new episodes are premiering, which, by the way, is around every day at 2 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and I sincerely appreciate hanging out with you guys in the premieres. Thank you so much. In today's episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition on Insanity Difficulty, we are going to complete Pharos, which should be uh really fun and not at all difficult and i'm definitely not gonna die all the time so let's jump into it so as you can see our cory shepherd is level 21 adept as always and we have a squad of tally and liara and we're gonna head out of the area that we were in at the end of the last episode which is the exogeny security forces and like what's left of the people that work there we also found out that there's somebody named lisbeth is apparently stuck there so, we want to head back to the Prothean Skyway, the other section of the Prothean Skyway, and see if we can take down the Geth that are going to be trying to stop us. Immediately, you'll see that we have some enemies here. As soon as we open this gate, looks like we'll have to deal with some. I think we could deal with them, no problem. We are in the Mako. One down, an armature, and a couple foot soldiers to go. Medic barriers say, I don't think so. Apparently, people were looking for something there. So we're going to hop out and actually head inside here because yet again, just like in the last episode, we have enemies that we need to deal with on foot. Oh, did not mean to pull out a sniper rifle. That's a problem. Only a couple of Geth troopers easy to take out. And at the end of this tunnel, we'll be able to head back outside you mean there was nothing oh just a little upgrade kit okay i'll take it and by following the tunnel it leads back outside and we can head back to the mako back in the day the best way to deal with things was you would want to get out of the mako so that you could get full xp nowadays you just don't have to do that wait shut down the calm we've got incoming geth damn it shut down the calm so we'll continue on and it looks like we have some geth right in front of us down in this tunnel which of course we can just shoot inside of and take them out let's see if we can get any more while we're in here now like i said you normally you would have wanted to get out and kill them but now you could just kill them all with the gun inside nice now, unfortunately the people that we heard on the radio were taken out and it looks like only one geth remains hiding behind this little corner here Kinetic barrier goes down, but we'll be able to finish him off. And at the far end of this tunnel, we'll be able to find another body that belonged to one of the people that we heard on the radio and a crate with some items for us and a bunch of credits. You'll love to see it. Back outside, we can jump into the Mako and continue across. Oh, it looks like we got some enemies out here. Some big, big enemies waiting for us. You'll see that we have some armatures and Beyond that, uh, three Geth Juggernauts, which, of course, we can take out pretty easily because we are pretty awesome. Now, of course, you could, if you have a maxed out AI hacking, you actually could get out and have uh, Tally go ahead and finish these guys. This Juggernaut just absolutely melting with the power that we possess. You'll love to see it. So, continuing on, we'll actually see a Geth dropship sitting attached to the Exogeny headquarters here. And a jam signal. Unfortunately, you can't destroy this Geth ship to make it fly off. Although, that would be very cool if you could. It can't. So, we're going to head through this door. Hopefully, take out some more enemies that we may find. Looks like they're on the other side of this these pillars here. And they are immediately getting shot at as we come into view. And there's even Geth stalkers here. So, we're going to hopefully... Yes! Beautiful! We can actually destroy more of them through this door here without really having to deal with them on foot. 
killing the last the rocket trooper that we saw over there and of course there's even a few more all right looks like we dealt with as many as we could so we have to take like tally said we have to take it by foot now and let's head in we're gonna have to deal with more geth for sure as we approach the exogeny headquarters here and there's nothing for us at the end of the tunnel except for a jam signal we'll notice that there's a door that can be decrypted over there we're not going to deal with that just yet and we're also not going to jump down where we can go which is this way that right there is the point of no return once you go down there you can't go back to the normandy until you're done with pharaohs pretty much so we want to see if there's anything that we can get over here and it looks like We'll need another way in. There's a very strong kinetic barrier that we just can't get through. So that means that the only place that we can explore without going where we need to go is this encrypted door over here. Before you do that, I highly, highly recommend saving your game. And we'll go ahead and decrypt the door. As we get inside, we'll notice right away that there's a malfunctioning object that we can get for items and also a geth armature that is deactivated. But as soon as we use this malfunctioning object... We're going to have to deal with an awakened Geth Armature. So, the first thing that we want to do here is use our overload on this device, our barrier here, and we're going to go ahead and see if we can Singularity this Armature as well. And watch out for its cannons, because that will absolutely destroy your team. We're going to go ahead and Unity here as well. And barrier on our Liara. Perfect. We're going to see if we can run through here and see if we can toss this armature unfortunately that doesn't do anything either so we're just gonna see if we can do a little bit of damage by putting it into stasis and then just unloading on it now that it's in stasis and unable to do anything and that my friends is the power of the bastion specialization easy peasy now something to keep in mind is that liara stasis does not work you can't actually keep doing damage to it uh, if you use the Liara stasis or or Rex's stasis, it has to be your own stasis if you chose the Bastion uh, ability. So look at that! We just killed an armature on foot. No big deal. Let's go ahead and pop a Medi there because uh, Tally and Liara desperately need it. And we only have one way to go, so the point of no return. We're going in with a squad of Tally and Liara. Last chance to save it. And we'll just drop down and boom, we're stuck. Can't go anywhere else. We'll continue forward. And upon doing so... Hey, you're who I'm we're so looking sorry. for. I thought you were Geth or one of those Baron. Yeah, that's don't worry about it. You're safe now. But why were you here in the first place? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on and the power went out. I was trapped. I I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. Hmm. We'll get you out as soon as we find out what the Geth are after. It's not the Geth. It's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... To the what? I'm here for the Geth. It's very important that I find out what they're after. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. Thorian? What is that exactly? Good question, Tally. It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. Oh! What else can you tell me? Do you know where I can find this Thorian? I... I might be able to, but not with those Geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. Makes sense to me. Do you know how we can shut it down? No, not exactly. But I think the Geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the Geth laying power cables everywhere. You could follow those cables, but there's Geth all over the place. Well, I think that's what we have to do. Let's ask about, about yourself. Elizabeth. I'm just a research assistant for Exogeny. I came here with my mother. I don't even know if she made it out alive. Oh, she did. She's with some others from the colony. She's safe for now. She's alive? Oh, thank God. I thought I was the only one left. Please, Commander, just get that field down so I can see my mother again. Absolutely, but uh, about this Thorian. Tell me what you know about the Thorian. I really don't know that much about it. I think it's some kind of plant being. I know it's very old. Thousands of years, even. Hmm. Why do you think the Geth would be interested in the Thorian? It's just a plant. I don't know why the Geth would care. Exogeny was studying it, but I don't think they found anything special. Well, I guess that's it for us, then. Put. I'll go open some doors. Oh, here, take my ID. It's my we favorite line in the game. Doors. Just saying. 
And uh, immediately, we're going to have a ton of Baron coming after us, which, by the way, we're going to deal with with a big old single singularity from Liara and a singularity from ourselves as well. And we're going to pop a Medi there because they were able to do some damage before they came in. Go ahead and get this Baron off of Tally. Pop that Medi because they are getting a little bit low. And let's go ahead and throw this so it stops bothering Liara. And we'll go ahead and lift these ones up as well with Liara. And we'll warp this one, and we will overload. These things can be super dangerous as you see Tally going down there. Not the easiest thing to deal with, but we were able to do it. And Lisbeth did literally nothing. She just turned around and didn't help us kill. It's fine. It's fine, Lisbeth. It's fine. Let's go ahead and pop a Medi. That can be a very challenging fight with the Varen, but because we have such good crowd control with Liara and ourselves... Uh, it really didn't end up doing that much damage. That's why you definitely want to bring Liara and, and you know, whoever else uh, you can as backup. Garrus is an excellent choice. Rex is an excellent choice. I think Tally's the best just because of her incredibly strong AI hacking ability. But of course, if you're an engineer, you're not going to need her yourself anyways. Now, if you are having trouble with the Varen, I do recommend coming over to this little area here. And you can kind of beat them because only a couple will come in at a time. And it's, they have trouble getting to you. And you'll be kind of okay there if you're struggling in that fight. But anyways, continuing onward, we can head into the facility itself. It's time to, as, as Shepard said, open some doors. Stupid machine. Access encrypted files. And it sounds like there's a Krogan in here as soon as we entered in. That could be no, bad. I don't want to review protocol. I am unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption or make an appointment with... STUPID MACHINE! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. Uh-oh! That's not good! We're gonna go ahead and immediately see if we can lift the Krogan. With the power of Liara, we are able to. So then we're going to go ahead and warp him with both of our abilities here. Looks like a Krogan commander is leading the get here. And you'll see that he just absolutely melts because of the power of warp. I'm going to actually go ahead and use damping as well here. Just so that he doesn't do anything when he gets up. There you go. Krogan commander. More like Krogan Loser. Any corporation reminds Nailed all it. staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Yeah, I really don't Welcome care. Back, research assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What oh, can I do for you? our card is telling. You know nice. Elizabeth? Your access card identifies you as Elizabeth Bainham. Is there something you require, Doctor Bainham? Yeah. What did that Krogan want? What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of Subject Species 37, the Thorian. Okay. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. And so, Commander Corey Shepard learned everything that she could about the Thorian, Species 37, as explained to her by the Exogeny VI. Apparently, this thing is a massive plant underneath the surface of Pharos, with neural nodes that connect all over the planet and appear as tentacly masses. The plant controls its thralls by sending out spores that are then inhaled. The Thorian is able to control its victims by causing them intense pain whenever they try to go against what the Thorian wants it to do. And then this mass of nerves is able to communicate with its thralls and have it do its bidding. 85% of the colonists at Zoo's Hope have been infected and have been being watched by Exogeny. And Lisbeth has actually been super against this the entire time. Exogeny, of course, was trying to keep this under wraps and really does not want anybody to find out what is happening at Zoo's Hope. She also found out that she was unable to communicate with the Normandy because of the Geth barriers all over the headquarters. Unfortunately, direct observation of Species 37 is limited or non-existent. So it sounds like they are hiding a part of it that's important. That's enough for now going to standby mode we're gonna have to deal with that of course which means it's time to continue on and see if we can destroy this kinetic barrier we need to 
to see if we can help these colonists as soon as possible. Remember, Commander Quarry Shepard, the colonist herself, is all about protecting humanity's expansion into space. Now, as we approach this room, we'll discover Geth praying to something? Go ahead and AI hack one of these. And finish it off. The Geth used these claws to anchor their ships to the sides of buildings. Indelicate, perhaps, but very efficient. How do we cut the power if it's coming from the ship? It will be difficult. We can check the other claws for weaknesses, but the Geth are very thorough. Well, I guess we'll just have to destroy one of the ships. Now, if we approach this glowing the orb. seems to have significance for the Geth. Is it possible they set up this room to serve as a sacred temple of sorts? Yeah. The Geth blur the line between organic and synthetic life. It's natural to assume they seek understanding from a higher power. Now, speaking of locked crates with easy decryption, if back on the Skyway, one of the encrypted crates that you could find there, there's actually a bug where you can decrypt the, you can decrypt the, the, the crate, load your game, decrypt it again, over and over and you'll still get credit for all the items uh i wouldn't really recommend it i don't really think it's worth doing that but it is something that you can do but we can decrypt that crate for 100 xp and some free items and continue through the exogeny headquarters and see all the bodies that the geth just destroyed on their way in here and jam signals which means that we're going to be dealing with some more geth including a sniper Go ahead and hack this shock trooper here who's going to turn on his friends and hopefully send them flying. Death Stalker. Go ahead and singularity it. Perfect. Look at that. Cleared the room. Another Death Sniper. Back up. Whew. Luckily for us, it missed. We're going to run in and see if we can... Unfortunately, I missed. Hello? Whoo! That was a little scary. I don't, don't. Chat, don't look at me. Anyways, here's the kinetic barrier that we need to shut down. If we head over here, we'll see that there's, well, nowhere to go. And if you look around, it looks like, oh, there's nowhere I can go. Actually, there's a staircase up here. That's really hard to see. But we'll head up here. I recommend saving before you go too far. Because as we come up these stairs, we're actually going to come face to face with three enemy Krogan. And these guys are not happy that we're here. So we're gonna lift this one and then see if we can actually toss him into the ceiling here. And if we're able to, we are able to one-shot that enemy just by doing that. So we're gonna go ahead and warp this guy and damping. So this way he can't use any powers and we're then we're going to stasis him so that we can now take him out while he's in stasis. The other Krogan way in the back isn't able to do anything we're gonna heal up here and hello Krogan that's all far away like a loser just like that two Krogan are down you need to be able to lift him incredibly quickly that other one to then be able to so unfortunately her lift wasn't able to go through for whatever reason so we're gonna singularity him and throw him again there we go. All three Krogan are defeated. And you actually do need to come up here. Not only are there some items to get, but we can also get Gavin's console data. Perfect. We needed that for the quest. And after that, we can head back down. Heading up the stairs to another jam signal. And we have an average decryption crate that we can unlock. Thank you, Tally. And heading across. Now this room's going to have a bunch of enemies in it. We're gonna wanna duck here, see what we can do. See if we can get overload on this crate here. Perfect. Taking out the sniper in the back, make sure that's gone. Death Trooper down. Go ahead and get the Shock Trooper hacked. It's running around like crazy. Finish it off. There's still one of the 
bouncy hopper boys lay somewhere around here. You'll notice all of the terminals that are here as well. Fortunately, we can't use this one or any of these, but we can use this one here. The test samples were due to arrive three days ago, but we haven't heard anything from the colony or the cargo vessel. We suspect the samples became volatile and recommend cutting off all further contact with the Notacrux colony. Even if the colony is discovered, no one should be able to trace the event there back to us. That will actually give us a new journal entry to investigate uh, the facility. Now that we've gotten that, we're going to use this ramp here that's really hard to see where it is. It's so dark here. Same as before, we don't have the ordinance to blow this claw. Let's keep looking. Lucky for us, we see there's some other enemies on the side here for us to take out. Thanks for that save point. We're going to need it. So as we come down here, we're immediately going to ignore that sa sapper. We're going to see if we can actually get this destroyer in the back here hacked, which we should be able to do. No problem. He is, in fact, hacked. We'll go ahead and use a medi there because Tally was getting low. And we see that this Geth ghost is trying to keep us. So we'll singularity it so that we can finish it off. Kill this rocket trooper who I did not even see approach. Pop another medi because we can. Shock trooper down. Only one enemy remains. And it's just a baby Geth trooper. We'll go ahead and see if we can... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was weird. We saw no enemies on our frame, and then suddenly they were all there. We're going to go ahead and take out this Geth Sniper real quick. Liara letting us know how we can get this Geth ship destroyed. Now that all of those are dead, we can look around real quick to see if there's anything of use over here. Another average decryption crate, giving us a bunch of items, including light armor for a quarian, which actually is something that we needed. Anyways, we can continue on and find that there's a server node over here with average decryption. We can go ahead and use that, which I definitely recommend doing because doing that will unlock the private log of Dr. Gamoral. I don't trust this Cerberus group. They may pay us well, but if this gets out before we've developed an antidote, it's just not smart. They won't tell us what they want the samples for or why they wanted them delivered to the Montano system. My records show nothing of interest out there. And we get yet another quest. Very interesting. And if we come out to the little area that we can outside, we can grab another secure crate. But if we head back, we can use the shuttle bay door controls, and this is going to do exactly what we want. You find a repair ticket attached to the console. The damn door to the shuttle bay is fried again. Works fine if the PSI is 30 or lower, but the safety shutoff kicks off if the PSI gets above 34. If the PSI is in the 31 to 34 zone, the door slams down with enough power to shear through a metal eye beam. Somebody fix this damn thing before one of the team loses an arm. And just like that, all we need to do is get this to be between 31 and 34 PSI, and we will destroy this ship. You know, you'll see that there's a little gauge on the bottom right-hand corner. What we want to do here is 13, uh, 11... And seven should be enough. Yeah, perfect. Could also do a 17, 11, and five. Anyways, ton of experience leveling us up and destroying the Geth dropship. Get out of here, punk. Just like that. Very good. The field barring the exit will be down. Now we can go deal with the Storian creature. I hope that ship was full of those Geth bastards. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Joker, what's up, man? Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. No, don't panic. They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. Yep. This place will be crawling with Geth in a minute. Keep together and we'll get out of here in one piece. What do you mean? We killed them all. We just destroyed their dropship. They got nothing on it. Okay, yeah, let's get out of here. 
So we did level up, so let's go ahead and put those points where we want to go, which is in a maxed out master stasis. Oh yeah. The recharge time is now better. That means every 40 seconds we can put something in lockdown for 21 seconds. That is crazy strong. All right. We got everything we needed. We got our side quest. We got our data. So let's go back to the kinetic barriers. Man, it is so hard to see in the Exogeny headquarters. Everything is so darn dark. Just need to head outside, back down the stairs, into the room where we saw the kinetic barrier, which is now down, and we can head out. And Lisbeth is here. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I never meant for this to happen. You know what? I believe you, Elizabeth. You did what you could. I'll help them if you can tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zeus Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. Smart. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. Yep. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm chatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. Yeah, let's hope so. So it sounds like they... So she's with us. She's just invisible. Yep. We're going to head back to the Mako. And we're going to have a journey ahead of us when we do get back there. Now, it is interesting to me. I think it's so cool the colonists actually knew that they were being attacked so the first thing that they did was they hid the thorium because they don't want the guests to get it well i guess the thorium hid itself by using its throat the point is we need to go free those people as soon as we leave this area though we are going to be under attack by the geth and not just any geth but juggernauts and armatures a lot of them but we'll be just fine because we are in the mako after all now that those are all taken out, we got to continue on and probably deal with some more Geth as we get down here. Is there anybody? Is there anyone picking this up? Get away from that radio. This is Juliana Vane of Atheros Colony. Please help us. Huh? It's my mom. Stop. Stop the rover. You don't get to command me. Well, we were going to do that anyways. After all, we have a quest to turn in. So let's follow her down. What are you, what are you doing, Elizabeth? What's going on down here? You can't do this, John. Everyone, shut up. Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here. Get away from her, you son of a bitch. Elizabeth. Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! I wasn't very... You weren't hiding very well. <sighs> Shepard. Damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. <laughs> I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what happened on a coos. This doesn't have to end like that. Wait, what are you saying? We can talk this out. Nobody needs to get hurt. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. Yeah, species 37. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has, the Thorian. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus Hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's going to miss a few colonists. So if you have a maxed out charm skill, 12, you'll be able to, to fix this in a reasonable way. If not, you're going to have to choose. If you have a, a, a 10 intimidate skill, you can choose that. If not, well, this is going to go a really different way. So let's go. What about the big picture, Can't you buddy? see the inherent potential in this colony? Think of the promotional opportunities. 
Opportunities? What the hell are you talking about? They recovered from an alien attack on a frontier world. Add that to your company profile. Well, yeah. No one's ever gone broke playing the champion of humanity card. Sadly, you'd probably make a killing. But if it will let us get back to our lives, I'm for it. It just might work. Wait, no, but the infected colonists will throw a bit of a wrench in that plan. No, no, they need to disappear. You can't just kill the colonists. It's not their fault. If you kill only the Thorian, it might be enough to stop the infection. Maybe. That makes sense it's to me. To try, but I don't know if I can avoid harming the colonists. There has to be another way. Maybe there is. Come and talk to me before you leave, Commander. Just make sure there's no evidence when you're done. And we get a ton of Paragon for doing that. But we do have a mission that we can drop off with Gavin. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? Yep. I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed. Thank you. I was there anyway. It was the least I could do. Well, I appreciate it. Here, you certainly earned this. Thank Thanks you again. for the free experience and a ton of credits. Nice guy, nice guy. Thank you, Gavin. I'm glad you've decided to help us. I think there's a way to avoid killing the colonists. I hope so. What do you have in mind? I think you could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Mm, won't I get caught Releasing that? clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopene, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. A reduced capacity concussion grenade might suit our needs. I'll do it. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. And we have to equip our grenades with the anti-Thorian gas upgrade. This will disable infected colonists without killing them, which is exactly what we want to do. So going to our grenades, we'll see the anti-Thorian gas. I also upgraded Shepard's armor. And we can go ahead and equip that. And now the only thing that's left is to free Zeus Hope by rescuing as many colonists as possible and destroying the Thorian for good. So back in the Mako, back across the Sky Bridge. Skyway. The sky, the, the sky thing. And immediately we're going to find that we are not alone as we see that some Geth are going to be waiting for us here. Right below this little drop-off collapse area. And it's some big ones yet again. A couple of Geth Juggernauts, an armature, but we can handle those. It's so crazy how easy they've made Insanity in Mass Effect 1. Anyways, I'll take all that free XP. Don't mind if I do. And continue to Zeus Hope. As we approach though, Oh, what are you? A Thorian Creeper. The first of many that we will find here. Go ahead and kill this as soon as possible. There we go, 104 XP. No amount of infection could have altered a human to that extent. I wonder what is going on here. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. As you order, Commander Shepard. That is not good. 16 colonists currently alive. Go ahead and open this. And as soon as we come in, we'll be sh getting shot at by some colonists. But we need to take out these Thorian creepers. Very similar to the enemies that we actually found in a side quest. In one of our side quest episodes. After the final Thorian creeper falls, I'm going to go ahead and pop a medi here. We're going to see if we can deal with our friends here without them getting slaughtered. So, we're going to pop barrier. We're going to come up here and we're going to throw a grenade. Here it comes. Incoming! Three colonists taken down. Now, you easily could have gotten into the Mako to destroy those, but I was afraid of hitting the colonists, so I just chose to play it a little safe. We'll go ahead and summon the elevator and head down to Zeus Hope. And we'll have even more Thorian Creepers as soon as we get off the elevator, which means we'll go ahead and Singularity. And then we're actually going to go ahead and make sure that our pistols are going to take down organics fast. Get 
Taking out the two colonists that poked their heads around here. More Thorian creepers await us downstairs. We're going to go ahead and pop another singularity. The best way to deal with these Thorian creepers is to pop that singularity. And they're both down. We're going to go ahead and pop barrier here. Being careful not to accidentally kill any of the colonists. We're going to try to take these creepers out as much as we can. Now, we want to try to get the grenades in the middle of these colonists as much as possible so that we can affect multiple of them at once, which we were able to do right there. Unfortunately, we only have one grenade left, so we're going to try our best. Hopefully, this has some grenades for us. That one had five grenades there. We cannot use this tunnel here. It is gone. So let's go ahead and pop Unity on our friends here. Make sure they get up. Greta Reynolds hiding behind there, and we want to make sure we don't kill her. So we're going to try to lure these Thorian Creepers back to us. We still have all 16 colonists still alive. So we're going to keep our allies over there. And we're going to see if we can get Greta here. here comes. Incoming. We were able to get both of them with that one grenade. Only a few more colonists left and a bunch of Thorian Creepers. Get used to fighting these creepers because we're going to be taking down a lot of them as we proceed throughout the rest of Pharos. And only a few more colonists left. So, as usual, we're going to throw our barrier on, see if we can use grenades to take out a few of them. Incoming! And with that, every colonist has been saved here on Zoo's Hope. We can't proceed anywhere else because they've blockaded our way we can't get out so the only thing that we have that we can do here is to use this crane control which they were oddly protecting that first time we were here which will open it up and allow us to head to where the thorian is hiding i tried to fight it but it gets in your head you can't imagine the pain I was supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. It wants me to stop you, but I won't. I won't! Oh, man. Well, somehow we still have 16 colonists alive, even though, even, even though, even though Fidan shot him. We did the best we could, friends. I don't think there was any saving him. So, we're gonna head down. It's time to deal with the Thorian himself. Now, if you do run out of grenades, you can actually melee the colonist, and that will knock them out instead of killing them as well. So, you don't have to be too stressed out. You can pop barrier, run in, and melee them. It is possible that you just bad grenade management, and you'll lose them, but you should be fine. Also, before we head down, this is the last chance that you have to return towards the Exogeny headquarters. Here we go, heading down into the Thorian's lair. Look at that, we got 32 Paragon points because we were able to save every single colonist on Zeus Hope. Heading down the stairs. Trust me, you're going to be fighting a lot of Thorian Creepers. But here we go. One of our first real boss fights in the entire game. Ahead of us, the Thorian Creeper. And, of course, a bunch of husks. All right, we just need to find this creature and determine what it... What it... Kila. What is that? That's not a plant. That does not look like any plant I've ever seen. This may be... Problematic. Mmm. Delicious. Um... So that's where Asari come Invaders. from. Invaders, 
Your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. Uh, Saren? You gave something to Saren, something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh barely given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. The cold ones? I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them, now. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Uh, excuse? And immediately, this Asari clone it wants to attack us, so we're gonna see if we can throw it off, and we weren't able to do just that. And there is a Thorian creeper attacking us from the back. Now, something that is going to be incredibly useful here is equipping shotguns on your squad and actually using something called hammerhead rounds if you have them. We're gonna go ahead and lift this one as well. And the d gateway opens up to find even more of them. We'll go ahead and take them out as much as we can. And you'll notice that there are Thori uh, Thorian neural nodes here as well. Go ahead and deal with this one that's behind us by killing it real quick. Unfortunately, Liara getting one shot there. And lift to get this one out of the way. Get it floating into the air. Another creeper running around. There's so many here. Now, it is worth mentioning that if you still have the grenades with the uh, with the grenade equipped, you can take out the creepers incredibly quickly with those. But look at this thing. It looks so cool. I highly recommend this. is one of the most difficult levels in the entire game, especially on Insanity. And I highly recommend just taking it slow as you go. Now, a shotgun or any weapon with hammerhead rounds or sledgehammer rounds are going to be incredibly good for this section of the game. But you'll see that the Thorian has neural nodes here. Those are what we need to destroy. Go ahead and make sure both of our squad mates are using shotguns as well. We'll destroy the first Thorian node. Which apparently it did not like. And then we'll continue to the second floor. Every single time, we're going to have to deal with more of the Asari clones that are going to pop out. I still can't believe this is where Asari come from. She's beautiful. So like I said, this is something that you do want to take slow. We're going to actually go ahead and use lift here to get this out of the way. Watch out for the Asari clone. These things can be incredibly dangerous. I'm going to go ahead and stasis it. Singularity. Asari clone taken down for a ton of XP. And all we have is some Thorian, some Thorian creepers left. Now that the clone and some creepers are down, we can continue forward. Get down! And we threw a grenade and popped a bunch that were running out at us. Getting those done. And we'll keep hitting this one from far away. Unfortunately, we only have two grenades left, so that's going to be a little hairy. Lucky for us, there's a weapon locker here. Maybe it'll have some grenades. As soon as we enter this next room, we'll find yet another Thorian node. We want to be careful, see if we can get it to activate any of the creepers that are nearby. Immediately, one above us is activated. We're going to see if we can let them come to us. Now we can shoot this one from far away after taking down that other one. You can see how little damage it's actually doing from across the way, but hey. It's doing what it needs to do. It's able to kill them. And the Asari clone is going to attack, so we're going to go ahead and lift her into the sky. Now, unfortunately, the uh, the grenade does not work on the Asari clone, but we can toss her off of the edge just the same. Using our last Medigel and our last grenade. As you can see, attacking this node from across the way is actually going to anger some of these Thorium Creepers, and then we can just kind of shoot them. Two more coming in at us, though, from the floor above us. Another one right above us coming over to attack. 
as we were destroying the Storia node, another one deciding to activate. This is probably the most effective way to take care of this room. By destroying that node, we were able to destroy a bunch of the ones that had activated. And now we can continue on a little bit safer than we were before. Again, this is a pretty hard spot, so I do recommend taking your time. And the Asari clone, which we're just going to go ahead and throw off because we're a biotic. I mean, can you beat that? I did not mean to do that. That's unfortunate. Liara tossing her aside. We'll go ahead and double warp her as well. Down goes the Asari clone. Two more running in. We'll go ahead and singularity them. You'll see as we get closer, a bunch of them activating in this room. Super useful if we just had some grenades, but we are out. We did lose one. This is the Thorian node that we destroyed from far away. And then we can continue forward. More Thorian creepers await us. But also, in the back here, we can find a medical station, meaning we can fill up on some more metagel since we are out of it. Thanks, game. And now that we grab that and have some medi, I'll pop that because Liara kind of needs it. And we'll need to come in here and deal with this kind of slowly because as soon as we pop in, we're going to have to deal with more Thorian Creepers. Now, as effective as melee hits could be here, I don't actually recommend it just because you have to get close to these guys and getting close to these is a really bad idea considering that their breath can one-shot, their melee attacks can one-shot on Insanity. It's a little much. And we have another Thurian, Thurian Neural Node above us, which we can start attacking, which is going to wake up more of these. Like I said, you don't want to do too much damage because you want these to wake up kind of slowly. Another Thurian Node down and a Creeper attacking. We'll go ahead and... I was going to throw it across the room, but we didn't have to. We're going to turn this corner and watch out for that Asari. And hopefully, we'll be able to Singularity these here. And as soon as I can... Hopefully, get a good toss on this. We'll go ahead and lift her, and we're going to head down. This could be very scary. We're going to go ahead and put her into stasis, actually. And then see if we can pump some damage into her while she's in stasis. That, my friends. Look at that. Already dead. Bastion, man. So good. But what we need to do is actually head down here and take out some of the Thorian creepers that have been spawning above us. This part can get incredibly overwhelming. Especially now that we've lost Liara and a clone behind us as well. We'll go ahead and pop Unity here. Stasis the clone. And pop Marksman. As we run away from this. Take down the clone and continue back up now that our team unfortunately fell. But that should be fine because we're in a safe position actually here. Not many Thorian Creepers are going to be able to get to us. Go ahead and Singularity these two here. Remember, we do have Stasis up now all the time because it's maxed out. But we're going to continue up. See if we can deal with this in a better way here. Bunch of creepers stand before us in the final Thorian node. And an Asari clone, which we're going to immediately stasis. Pop mar pop whoop pop marksman. And take down just like that. And the Thorian goes down. You're not green. I'm free. I... I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Uh... Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine. Or... I will be. In time. My name is Shiala. I serve... I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Interesting. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. 
Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. Benezia sought to turn the river and was swept away. There's more to this. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. What? They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. What? What? Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of his existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. Uh, what's that? What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Cypher is knowledge. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sense this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I meld it with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught. It simply exists. Can you give me that? I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. Whoa. She seems concerned. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What was that? Commander Shepard, are you all right? Yeah. I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship where you can be monitored. I am sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Yeah, I'd say. I'm, I'm glad that... Thank you. Tell me more about this ship Saren has. Sovereign is alien. I do not know how it was built or where it comes from. Its design does not match that of any known spacefaring species. It dwarfs any vessel in the Citadel or Alliance fleets. Its weapons are devastating, its defenses virtually impenetrable. With it, 
Saren believes he is unstoppable. And it can control minds. You said Saren uses it to manipulate his followers. The indoctrination. There is an energy about Sovereign. You feel drawn to the ship. It makes Saren's arguments more persuasive, more compelling. Spend enough time in Sovereign's presence and you will lose yourself. There is no other way to explain it. And what about the Matriarch? I want to know more about Benezia. Benezia was greatly respected among our people. A powerful biotic, even for an Asari. She was widely known as a teacher of philosophy and religion. She always sought the paths of peace and harmony. She joined with Saren because she hoped to turn him away from his path of destruction. And that didn't work. Instead, she became one of his most powerful allies. As I mentioned before, Matriarch Benezia underestimated Saren. Be sure you do not make the same mistake. And why aren't you part of that, out of curiosity? What Anyways. else can you tell me about Saren? Yeah, yeah. There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic, and he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he is leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. And what about the Thorian? Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. I didn't... Oh. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. You know, oddly enough, same. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries, I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. So what should I do with you? Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. A noble idea. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. And just like that, we saved the colony of it. Zeus Hope. Jong says we'll have all the money we need to keep this place running. It's because of you, Shepard. And we get the Medal of enough. Heroism trophy. Good for us. There's actually a hidden scoring section, kind of. For each side quest you complete, you get a point. For each surviving colonist, you get a point. But either way, we got enough points, and we were able to completely save the colony of, of Zeus Hope. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. That's it for us here on the planet of Pharos. We could also talk to Ledra if we wanted to. I never thought I would be so thrilled to see a soldier. Forgive my previous inaction, but under the Thorian's influence, every thought was examined and filtered. What are your thought plans now? What will now? you do now that the fighting is over? I may stay, try to recover my losses. I can have new supplies delivered within weeks. Perhaps the colony will survive after all. You can come in here and see that there's a bunch of colonists laying around. Thanks, Commander. It's great to be free again. Hana, the one that was running the machine, is fine. And you can scan stuff uh, and, and decrypt it in case you missed anything. Back to the Normandy, my friends. But, my friends, that will do it for today's episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition right here on Missile Dine Online. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In the next episode, we're going to check in with all of our squad, see how they're feeling after our, our second story mission. We only have one story mission right now that we can go do, which is Novaria. I feel like Pharaoh should come before Novaria. Uh, but obviously, it's your journey, and you can do whatever you want. But I'm curious, how how do you guys usually tackle the main story of Mass Effect? You go to Therum first, you go to Pharos, Novaria, 
all that stuff. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, never give up, never surrender to the Thorian. Goodbye, everyone.